Hello everybody, my name is Luis, and in this video I'm gonna show you how circuit name works and what's what this plugin does. So this plugin fix the annoying problem about circuit name. Yes. I don't know if this circuit is a uh, is for a panel or not. So this is what the plugin do at first. Okay, entering here, I'm gonna update all my circuits. If this is a panel, I'm gonna show the panel name, and this is really cool. And the other ones, I could add another interface stuff. But let's go in here in the tab recall and circuit name. So here I have a panel and all the panel in my document. So I can find all my panel and I can change the name if I want. Change the panel name. Can change like this this one. I could add a prefix if I want. I'm gonna add a prefix only in this end device and circuit like S and I could add a separator. So I could change the circuit naming. By default, we're gonna add the project setting. It's the same of circuit name. So like this, the plugin does the, the trick. This plugin only works for Rev2021 and 22 and so on. So I already added the prefix in front of the circuit. Really cool. So I could delete this or I could uh, copy if I want, right? This is really useful. I could do the same in here if I want, right? Really fun. But by default, we're gonna set like this. Have the other inter stuff like the type of the panel. If he is other panel like communication, gonna work too the same way. So I could change the circuit name and I could click, uh, I could select some of the panel. Right click and uh, I could select this panel in my project. It's really useful to find in a big project and so on. So select right here. And here's my panel. And here's the name of my panel. So really fun. Could change here like so. Doesn't matter. So I could add another interesting stuff by the classification, right? Here I have another table, like a classification. I have all the classification in my project. So I could add abbreviation in front of the each circuit right here. This one, uh, uh, this three first one is other circ other classification. Could put some like this, and this is lighting. So I could update right now and gonna add automatically in all my project, all the system, this abbreviation, this prefix in front of the uh, category classification, order, and lighting. And you could change like you want, right? And I add this inter stuff about uh, communication circuits because Revit doesn't have a classification for communication, da data, telephone, and so on. I added this extra uh, configuration to add a prefix for data, telephone, security, fire alarm, nurse call, control, and communication. So I could add it like so, and the plugin gonna update for me automatically. So this project doesn't have any of this type of circuit, but gonna work. And if he, the plugin doesn't find any of this abbreviation in front, you're gonna use this one by, by category. So if my circuit in here have like to remove this one and close to update it for the default. So if my this circuit have some of these categories, like here, I know this one have um, I guess light device, right? I'm gonna add a D in front, and this one is lighting fixture. I'm gonna add an F and I'm gonna add this D and F in front of each circuit have this. Uh, element inside of the circuit. So I'm gonna add D in front of this and F in front of this, like really cool. So I could move this circuit for to another uh, position and the plugin already gonna move to there. 
and gonna automatically update the, the name, right? F1, F3, and 4, and so on. And of course, if I go in, in here and create another circuit in this, this panel or other panel, the plugin automatically gonna update the name. So gonna add the F1 and so on, right? It's really awesome. So if you like this plugin, give it a thumbs up. So I enter in this plugin, link in the description. So see you next time. Bye bye.